Okay, you could go now. I am Jacqueline Rhodes. I am the Assistant Executive Director for Pinelands Preservation Alliance. We are here today with a number of Pinelands supporters to stop Pinelands nominations from moving forward. There were two nominees, Dennis Rohr and Robert Barr, that are to be interviewed today by the Senate Judiciary Committee. And they are to replace, if approved, um, Robert Jackson and Darcy Rohan Green two commissioners that voted with their conscience that supported the commission's oath to protect the Pinelands and voted against the South Jersey Gas Pipeline proposal that came before the commission in January. Why did you say they voted with their conscience? They voted with their conscience because they read the rules and regulations. The application was proposing to go through the forest area to serve outside needs, those that live outside the Pinelands. That is not allowed under the commission's rules. So they were asking for a special agreement to do that, and that special agreement violated all the regulations that are currently in place. So voting yes in support of that application means that you are voting against rules and regulations that are supposed to be upheld by those commissioners. And they were appointed by who? Governor Christie. Okay. Okay, any other statement you'd like to make right now? Just that the senators have the opportunity to make sure that they hold uphold past legislators' ambition and protection of our environment in the Pinelands to protect our water quality and our forest areas. And they have the ability to make sure that they represent good government by opposing these nominations. The governor has the prerogative to replace uh, commissioners. He has that right. But it should not be connected to one applicant. It should not be connected to big business. And it should only be as a result of practicing good government and putting people in place that will do their job. One other quick question. Mm -hmm. What evidence, uh, you know, look, uh, you're like laying the groundwork here. What evidence is there that Christie was pro-business before? <laughs> These nominees, sure. There were obviously several pieces of information. There were several emails that were found out recently that connected Governor Christie and having conversations about South Jersey Gas, or at least from his office. Um, these nominations occurred shortly after the, the Pinelands vote. In addition, Governor Christie vetoed minutes of the Pinelands Commission that would have allowed pay raises for individuals there. And that has never been done. In, the history of Pinelands activity. And why would you All do that? occurred immediately after the pipeline vote. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Nothing in his administration, nothing of like like this has occurred in the past. He had nominated very good people to the commission, actually, that worked out very well. Uh, those same people have been doing their job. There should be no reason to replace them. Okay. That's good. So. I just want to keep it